Let us try to attempt this question by the vector method. And let us designate this as the origin. As we have discussed earlier, anything can be designated as origin. Okay. So for point A by vector method. Okay. So for point A, okay, for point A, what do we have to take? We have to take the outward normal, right? What is the, what is the, what is the coordinate of this point? It is point zero five comma zero. So what is that vector? That vector is the the vector that connects this. Because what had we done, if there is a charge here, then we wanted this vector and it will be in this direction, right? Because this was the point P where you were trying to find out the field. Okay, so at A, <coughs> so, so the position vector of this is this, okay? So, so R1 cap or R1 vector is what? Point zero 0.05 vector. 0.05 I cap. So what is R1 cap? This divided by mod of this, so that is I cap. Understand? And earlier we have already found out that this magnitude is how much? 36 into 10 to the power 3. So actually the field due to Q1, so E at a due to 1 is 36 into 10 to the power 3 i cap e at a due to 2 now 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 2 so so what is the what is the this is actually r a1 right this is r a1 okay I want to find R A2. Now what is R A? R A is 0 0.05 I cap. What is R2? R2 is, is 0.1 I cap. So what is R A2? R A minus R2 which <coughs> is which is minus 0 0.05 I cap. Okay, so so what is R R a what two R two minus R E. I want R. No, R E minus R two. R uh, we want R A one. Okay, R P one. R P two. No, no, it's right. No, it is R A two. No. It's right. <clears throat> now E A2 is what? This Q2 is a negative Q2. So this minus, minus 36 into 10 to the power 3 into minus I cap. That makes it 36 into 10 to the power 3 I cap. So E A is actually E A1 plus E A2. So that is 72 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per coulomb. You get the point. It has to be E A2. It is E P1. Don't make that mistake. If this is Q1, this is E P1. You are interested in e R P1 vector, not R1 P. If this is Q2, you are interested again in, 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 in this vector, which is rp2 this is rp1 that is rp minus r1 everything else will be taken care of this so it seemed as if the field will be going like that but it is not it is minus q which has flipped it understand don't make that mistake that's why i was saying you uh, telling you that it, it seems easy but it is not because many a times you'll get confused now at b so sorry, at B, what happens? At B, 
at B. Now, now this poses another serious problem because the origin is there only at the at the point where no so at at B is fine fine it is there. So so R B is. R B I want R B no 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 you, you don't do that it will become hugely chaotic. R B minus R one. Now what is R B? Minus point zero five I cap. No, because the coordinate is 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 minus point zero five comma zero for B right. So R B minus R one. R B minus R one. And R1 itself is origin, no? R A is this. R1 is zero. Okay, it is a, it is a null vector. R1, right? Because Q1 is at the origin. So R1 is the vector that connects the origin to the charge number one that is zero so that's why ra minus r1 is this right ra1 is ra minus r1 is equal to 0 0.05 i cap right rb1 is rb minus r1 so that is minus 0 0.05 i cap and due to this due to this the value is so e b1 is equal to it was it was 36 into 10 to the power minus 3 into this uh, rb1 cap is minus i cap so minus i cap so this is equal to minus 36 into <coughs> 10 to the power minus 3 i cap so so it is already showing you <coughs> that the direction is in the negative direction eb1 is that and and what is eb2 so for that you have to find what is rb2 rb is known r2 is known where is r2 r2 is not known i written somewhere here so rb2 is equal to rb minus r2 and rb is how much minus 0.5 minus this so it becomes minus 0.15 i cap correct so r b 2 cap is minus i cap okay that's r b 2 cap now what is what is e b 2 that is that is equal to that was uh, minus 9 uh, that was 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 due to the negative q i put a negative q so there'll be a negative here and this is minus i cap so it actually becomes 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 i cap so e b becomes e b 1 Hope you understand this, how this negative came, EB1 plus EB2, how did this negative come, it came from here, so EB2 was uh, 9 into 10 to the power 9 into minus 10 to the power minus 8 divided by 0.15 square, that is what it was, so this negative, this is actually, this ultimately had come to be this had ultimately become what? Hmm? No. It had become 4? Huh. So 4 into 10 to the power 3, sorry. So this is 4 into 10 to the power 3 I cap. So, sorry, sorry. 4 into 10 to the power 3 sorry I'm sorry for that 4 into 10 to the power 3 4 into 10 to the power 3 
minus sign coming from here due to the negative value of this multiplied by minus i cap correct so 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 you can say that you can say that it is this correct and that's why it became positive so it started pointing like this so automatically it is told, telling you that due to this the the field will be in the positive uh, y direction and that becomes how much minus 36 into 10 to the power 3 oh, 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 oh this is to the 10 to the power plus 3 right uh, i cap plus 4 into 10 to the power 3 minus 32 into 10 to the power 3 I cap. Now we come to at C. At C, what happens? I need RC minus R1. RC1 is RC minus R1. What is RC? What is the coordinate of this? 0 0.05 and this. This is root 3 by 2 into L. No? By Pythagoras. So I write it as such. This is 0 0.05 and root 3 by 2 into point 0.1 root 3 by 2 into point 0.1 okay so that is rc is 0 0.05 i cap plus root 3 upon 2 into point 0.1 j cap okay now what is that equal to rc minus r and what is r1 r1 is equal to 0 o vector so rc minus r1 is nothing but rc that is equal to that is equal to 0 0.05 i cap plus root 3 upon 2 into point 0.1 j cap now this whole thing should get divided by mod of this, right? What is the mod of this? Mod RC1 is 0 0.05 whole square plus 0 0.1 by 2 is 0 0.05 whole square, right? So root 3 whole square into 0 0.05 whole square root over. Now this is equal to 0 0.05 whole square into 1 plus 3 root over. So that is nothing but, that is nothing but 3 plus 1, 4. So 2 into 0 0.05, which is 0.1. Okay, that is mod RC1. Fine. How did you people calculate it? Oh, please, please, please don't do these things. Please. Okay, I had that inkling. So RC1 is equal to this divided RC1 cap is equal to RC1 divided by RC1. So RC1 is actually 0 0.05 I cap plus root 3 upon 2 0.1 J cap divided by 0.1. So that makes it 0.5 I cap plus root 3 upon 2 J cap. That is RC1. Okay. Now, so EC1, electric field at C, and we had calculated it to be how much? We had calculated it to be, to be 9 into 10 to the power 3, I suppose. This magnitude. So it will become 9 into 10 to the power 3 into 0.5 i cap plus root 3 by 2 j cap. Okay. Now we'd like to find out what is EC2, okay? So EC2 is EC minus E2. Sorry, sorry. I have to find RC2, that is RC minus R2. Now what is that equal to? RC minus R2, RC I know. What is R2? R2 also I know. No? I don't know somewhere. Where is R2? Yeah. Right. So, RC is 
RC is here. So it is 0 0.05 I cap plus root 3 by 2.1 J cap minus 0.1 I cap. So that is minus 0 0.05 I cap plus root 3 by 2.1 j cap since they differ only by a negative sign so modulus has to be the same so if this gets divided by 0.1 so it becomes minus 0.5 i cap plus root 3 by 2 j cap and the value was negative so this q if, if i put q2 as minus 10 to the power minus 8 that will that will make this as negative, right? So, 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 this. So, 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 E C two becomes minus nine into ten to the power three into point five i cap plus root three by two j cap, which makes it nine into ten to the power three minus point five i cap. No, no, this is minus. This is already minus. This is plus. So this becomes plus and this becomes minus. Now what does that lead to? If you sum them up, no, EC1 and EC2 to get EC, the the J the J part vanishes, right? So the J part vanishes. So EC is equal to EC1 plus EC2 and if I add them then it becomes 9 into 10 to the power 3 into 0.5 i minus uh, sorry plus root 3 by 2 j cap plus 0.5 i minus root 3 by 2 j cap that gives you 0.5i plus 0.5i is 1i. So 9 into 10 to the power 3i. So this tells you that it is this and you did not apply that formula a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. It has automatically given you everything. Okay.